Welcome back to our playlist on the Play Framework using Scala. So we've, we're have we implementing our second version of the task list, and this one uses Ajax with jQuery. Right now we're just doing loads to, to bring in content so that our template generator in Play does, does a lot of the work for creating the HTML for us. And we had gotten to the point where when we clicked one of our items, it would take us to the delete route. Uh, but our delete route doesn't actually do much of anything. Well, what should it do? Yeah, you know, it turns out it should do pretty much the same thing that delete did before. It should see if the person is logged in. And if they are logged in, delete the item with that index. Uh, now, this is where things are going to get a little bit different. So. We check the username option. It should be stored in the session, okay? Because when they log in or when they create a user, we add a session that has a username. If it's not, well, I don't want to redirect them to this. That's not our fail state here. Our fail state here is to send them back to the login page. Uh, and that should be a an OK. Now, previously, we were getting this information through a post. This is a get, so we already have the index. I don't need to pull the index out. I and mean, that's basically what these three lines were doing, is they were decoding the, the body and then getting the values out of it and pulling off index that happened to be there. I don't need to do that. So this means that I can remove the user's task and then send them back to the task list page with the modified tasks and actually that would be the entire okay I don't need to attach a new session and there we go you know, I feel like I'm repeating myself a few times here this could definitely be made into into a function if if we wanted and there we go. So that should give us a delete. Let's check to see if it actually happens. I refresh. Say login, get rid of sleep, and it goes away. And once again, because it's using Ajax, there was no page refresh. You know, I can just get rid of all of those things. Mm, I can't do anything to get them back, though, other than to uh, reboot the entire server, then it's still not there. Okay, and that's kind of what we expect. One thing that, that you might notice is kind of interesting is every time I hit F5, I come back to the login page. When I refresh this, it doesn't kind of doesn't remember that I'm logged in. We're putting things that check. That's definitely a, a flaw that we should fix in this. Uh, we're checking to make sure you can't delete if you're not logged in. Uh, but when you first go to the page, it has no memory of whether or not you're logged in. It's always coming to the original login screen. So now we'd like to be able to add. Okay, well, how could we do that? Previously, we had this form that had an input on it. We don't necessarily need forms for this. I do want to have an input of type text. I'm going to give it an ID of new task. And then I'm going to make a button that has an on click of we'll just call it add task and it's not slash input it's slash button I still have this log out hmm uh, my guess is there's going to be a task list to log out except this isn't routes because as we we're describing uh, wait, no, this one can be uh, because we we are inside of a view template so I can do reverse routing here. I just can't do reverse routing inside of my JavaScript. Okay, so I have a text field. It says new task and it will call add task. So we need a function for adding a task here. No arguments. 
and it will replace the contents with not delete task to add task to not an index but task equal oh now this is going to get somewhat fun uh, we'll try this this is not going to work and then we get to figure out how to how to fix it uh, there's a chance that won't happen in in this video so I need the string for the task. How about here I just call it task. Oh, I'm in JavaScript. Let's go add some semicolons. The task should be the contents of that input. We already have code that does that type of thing. Except instead of being login name, new task. Okay. So this will send our task to add task to. We need to have an add task. It needs to have a task string. It will have to check to make sure they are logged in. So I want to have the request. Technically here the request didn't have to be implicit, but I'm going to go ahead and have it be implicit. I'll just copy our delete code to start with because we do need to get the username, uh, verify that it's there, if not send them back to the login page. I don't want to remove a task here. I have a funny feeling this is add task, username, and task, and then we send them the task list again. That compiles. Excellent. Now add task needs a route. Add task to controllers, task list to add task, and it just takes a task. Okay, let's verify that we have this. So on the task list, when they click this button, oh hey, Let's give that button some text. When they click this button that says add task, it will call the JavaScript add task. That JavaScript add task is going to pull the value out of the field and of that input field and then do an Ajax load on the route add task to with that task as the parameter. Add task to as a route calls task list to's add task and that will check that they're logged in, add the task into the model, and then give them back an appropriate page. That all looks pretty good. Okay, let's do a refresh. Oh, uh, I don't have a logout. I left that into my page. I probably need logout is an action and all it's going to do is this one, I actually am going to do a redirect to at, there is no at, <laughs> at to routes. You get so used to typing reverse routing with, with that, of, of task list to dot login, but with with new session. Okay, so we're going to remove their session information and send them back to the login page. And this will only work if we have a route that actually goes there. So we'll call this logout to controllers task list to logout and make certain that our HTML is referring to, oh, it's it's a reverse route to task list to log out. Okay. Let's see how much stuff I mistyped. Well, it, it compiled, but we have a, uh, a message over here in the JavaScript that says, oh yes, indeed, 
if we go and look at our JavaScript here, you'll see I put in two equal signs. Now, you know, previously the JavaScript might not have prevented our pages from loading, but in this case, everything that happens is being motivated by Ajax. We don't get any view at all. We just get that empty page until this Ajax call comes in. And so if our JavaScript doesn't parse properly, we go nowhere with this version. Okay. So we log in. I add a task. <clears throat> hmm, that was fun. What happened there? Okay, so the first one added in. Let, let's do that again. <laughs> let's try this. Okay, so we'll log in. We have stuff there. Uh, and notice that, that the videos is still there. All these other things are still there. Okay, we can delete them. But this one only came back as more. Okay, but I had typed in more videos. Uh, stuff. Okay, blah. You'll notice a trend here. As long as I do that, everything's happy. Do stuff again. Oh, and now it's gone. Okay, so we have this problem. If I currently input tasks that have spaces in them, this doesn't work. We'll come back in the next video and we'll try to figure out what's going on there and how we can fix it.